All right, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to solve an equilibrium uh, problem in which we're trying to look for the composition of the equilibrium mixture when we are given the equilibrium constant. So let's take a look at this. And we know we're going to set up an ice table. So, because that's what we do for equilibrium problems. The initial concentration of hydrogen is half molar. So we have some reactant. The initial concentration of fluorine is half molar. We have no products. So that means for this equilibrium, it is going to shift to the right because we have no products and we know we have to make some products during the course of the equilibrium. So that means that we're going to increase our concentration of products, decrease our concentration of reactants. So in our ice table, our I stands for the initial concentrations. So the initial concentration of hydrogen is half molar. The initial concentration of fluorine is also half molar. And initially we have no HF. The change, like I said, because we have no products, we're going to shift this equilibrium to the right to make some products. So we're going to increase the concentration of our products. That gets a plus sign. Therefore, we're going to decrease the concentration of our reactants so they get negative. The change is based on the coefficients. So here, hydrogen has a coefficient of 1, so it's going to be reduced by 1x. Fluorine also has a coefficient of 1, so it's going to be reduced by x. HF has a coefficient of 2, so it's going to increase by 2x. It's really easy to forget these coefficients in the change. Don't forget the coefficients count twice. They count first for the change part of the ice table, and then they're going to count again when we talk about the equilibrium expression. So that means that at equilibrium, we have 0.5 minus x for the hydrogen concentration, 0.5 minus x for the fluorine concentration, and 2x for the HF. So let's talk about that equilibrium expression. For an equilibrium, K, the equilibrium constant, is equal to products to their orders divided by reactants to their orders. So for this, the K expression is equal to HF squared. Don't forget this coefficient. Equilibrium are considered to be elementary steps. In an elementary step, the coefficient is the order of the reaction divided by hydrogen to the first power because it has a coefficient of 1 times fluorine also to the first power because it has a coefficient of 1. So now what we're going to do before we start plugging things into our equilibrium constant expression is we're going to make an assumption to make the math easier. The assumption that we'll make is that at equilibrium the change in x is going to be negligible. So that means at equilibrium, our concentration of hydrogen is going to be about equal to half a molar. The concentration of fluorine is going to be equal to about half a molar. The concentration of the HF stays at 2x. So now we're ready to plug these values here into our equilibrium constant expression. So that means that K is equal to the concentration of HF squared at equilibrium, our concentration of HF is 2x, so 2x squared divided by the concentration of hydrogen is about 0.5 times the concentration of fluorine, which is also 0.5. That means then that 1.63 times 10 to the minus third equals 4x squared. Don't forget your sort of rules of uh, order of operations. This must be distributed to both of these inside the parentheses. So it's 4x squared divided by 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. All right, let's solve for x. So 1.63 times 0.5 times 0.5. That gets rid of it on this side. We're going to multiply this side by 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. And what we do to one side, we do to the other side. 
So we're going to multiply this by 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Gives us 4.08 times 10 to the minus fourth equals 4x squared. Divide both sides by 4. Gives you 1.02 times 10 to the minus 4th equals x squared. This is where you take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 1.02 times 10 to the minus 4th is 0 0.01. Okay. Before we go any further, we need to check to make sure that our assumption is valid. So our assumption, if you recall, is right here, where we assume that the change in x was going to be negligible. We need to make sure that that assumption is valid. So in checking the assumption, you take your x value, 0 0.01, divided by the concentration, 0 0.5 in both cases, times 100. If this is less than 5%, then your assumption is valid. So in this case, 0.01 divided by 0.5 times 100 gives us an error of 2%. Since 2% is less than 5%, our assumption is valid and we can continue with the problem. If your assumption is not valid, if your change in x is greater than 5% of your initial value, you must use the quadratic function or the higher order uh, root solving system. All right, so now that we have x, we can plug this x value in to all of these expressions up here in order to solve for our equilibrium concentrations. So the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen is equal to 0.5 minus x gives you 0 0.49 molar. Equilibrium concentration of fluorine equals 0 0.5 minus 0 0.01 equals 0 0.49 molar. And finally, the equilibrium concentration of HF is equal to 2 times x, 2 times 0 0.01 0.02 molar.